We're here with Bass Drummer Death. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? I'm John. I'm Colin. Colin. Sorry, I got to go through. Just mess you up. Sorry, guys. No, it's alright. We have editing tools. So tell us a little bit about you guys. Like, what's your deal? How come you guys are called Bass Drums of Death and not uh, an 80s hip hop band? What the fuck's that about? Um, well, I started the whole, I started the whole thing like I played by myself, like with just the bass drum and a guitar, and it was just me. So I don't know. It just like hit me one night. I called it the Bass Drum of Death. And, uh, it's a little interview. Yeah. A little interview. That was yeah. cute. It's for it's for MTV News. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, really, we're really blown up. Yeah. It's Mongolian. Mongolian TV. They're huge in Mongolia and outer Mongolia. So. So I understand you guys are huge reality TV fans. What's your uh, what's your top five shows right now, reality-wise? Uh, right now, number one is Real Housewives of Atlanta. Number two is Jersey Shore. Uh, all seasons. All seasons of Jersey Shore? Yeah. Well, except for Miami, man. Miami is kind of bullshit. But this but season's been kind of weak so far, though. This season? Yeah, but I love it, man. I think they're back on the right track. You think so? Miami right now? No, no, they're back in Jersey in the house. Yeah, first one was Miami. The first one is in Jersey. The second one's in Miami. They're back in Jersey now, and like now they have like bodyguards and shit. And, like, everybody's trying to like fuck with them. And, yeah, it's like it's great. <laughs> right? Those are the top two. Um, I really love the uh, the T.O. show. I'm a big like Terrell Owens and like big Terrell Owens fan, so I really like that he had a reality show. Basically, I like, uh, I like the Kendra. Yeah, Kendra was really good. Okay. Kendra was really good. And, uh, he just slid in a little bit. I'm yeah, yeah. Hard, 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 to, hard to say the fifth. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of like them all equal. What was that Denise Richard shit? Or, you know, uh, it's, it's complicated. It, was pretty, it's, it is complicated. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very complicated. Uh, when you're a billionaire, yeah. Yeah, it bad. is. Yeah, when you're like hot as fuck. It's like <laughs> super complicated. So out of the reality stars in the top two, Kim and JWoww, who has the better fake tits? I would say JWoww. JWoww, definitely. JWoww? Yeah. JWoww's popping off, man. Yeah. She is yeah. powerful. Yeah, yeah. Can we sell this to JWoww? Can make sure JWoww sees this? Yeah, JWoww, if you see this, holler at me. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it out to everybody <laughs> I know on Long Island. So, um, do you guys know that actually uh, T.O. and Chad Ochocinco started a sports talk show out here? Oh, yeah. Okay, do you guys get that down the in Mississippi? T.O. show? T.O. show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen right. it. Actually, my buddy's staying at, at Hotel Rivington right now, and uh, Terrell Owens is there. He's like, really? staying there. So really? I'm going to try to hook up like a party later. <laughs> you, should, you definitely should. Yeah. The only thing is he might end up committing suicide by the end of the night, ODing on pills. Yeah. It happens. You know. That's a good way to go, probably. Yeah. So do you think he's a better wide receiver or a reality star? Um, reality star? I don't know, man. He's pretty fucking good. At reality, and, or...? I'm just kidding. He's pretty good all of it, man. He's a renaissance man. He's a 21st century renaissance. How many games did he win this season? I think two. He's in the Bengals, man. Yeah, two. Carson Palmer's a bum. Carson Palmer's a bum. But he did have monster games once those two guys left. He had monster games. He had great stats. Like, he blew Lucha out of the water. Stats were He did. So, he had a good season. But he's getting... I mean, he's about at the end of this rope. Yeah, he definitely is. So far, I think it's smart for him to, like, diversify and get Get to the reality. Diversify his bonds. Do you think, um, out of all the Renaissance men in history, where do you think T.O. ranks? Shit. <laughs> um, number three. Shit, I don't know. He's like, at, at best, maybe top 50. Top 50? Yeah. So somewhere between like Da Vinci and Plato? Somewhere, yeah. yeah. Somewhere there. Yeah, maybe, maybe like right next to Charles Brolin? Yeah. Okay, um, a lot of people have called, I've seen your band called like all different types of genre, like fucking post rock, punk, garage, whatever. If you could take a reality star, a reality show, a fetish, and then add the word core at the end, how would you describe your, uh, your sound? Reality star, reality show. A fetish, and then core at the end. Kardashian. Alright, J-Wow, what's the show? Look at the lost. Wow, you're like... 
send this to us. It's easier when I send that one via email. Yeah, yeah. It usually works better. Yeah, Most fine. of my questions work better with email. I have no idea what to do with this. Right. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, the real world of J. Wells Podcast. I like it. Okay. Excellent. Um, if you guys could have your own reality show, what would the premise be? What celebrities would you have on it? And would you be the host yep. like TJ Lavin, or would you solve their problems like Dr. Drew? Um, well, first of all, I definitely had Heidi Montag on there somewhere. New she, Heidi or old Heidi? Uh, both Heidi. So oh. I like them both. You've been the universe. Equally, yeah. Excellent. I like them both. I think it was cool when she was like, you know, sweet, innocent, like a little flat, and then like now she's like, oh, like I'm, I'm into both okay. ways. Um, yeah, and I don't know who the host would be. I would probably just, I would probably get him to host it. Are we the hosts? Are we the hosts? Or? You guys could be the host, or you could solve their problems, like Dr. Drew. I would like to, like somehow figure out how to, like. Be. If I get a bottle of whiskey before every show, I'll be the host. Yeah, okay. I would, I would, I would like to figure out a way to, like, do both, like. <laughs> Be the problem, but then like try to solve the problem too. Okay. Be the problem. Like, yeah, like, you know, like fuck shit up and then like sit down with everybody and try to like figure out how to make it better. So, so you'd be like Puck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's the best case. Puck from the San Francisco Real World. Like, <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Would you bring your kids to your reality show 20 years later to the reunion? Like Puck did? Okay. If you could collaborate on one album with one of the members of P. Diddy's Making the Band, the first season with the rappers, Oh yeah. Who would that rapper be? Probably and why? Chopper. Probably Chopper. Chopper and why? Yeah. Cause he was just like the raddest dude. Like Dylon, Dylon was like <laughs> bullshit. Everybody else on that show was like bitches. But Chopper was like, Chopper was the dude. Man. He was Chopper City. Yeah, he was like, he was like total like bro, like down for whatever. All right. I definitely do something. Do something. Do. Would you consider him the Godfather of Southern rap? Of the new, the new brand of Southern rap? <laughs> Absolutely not. <No. laughs> Not would you close. would you consider him the godfather of? I don't know if I consider him the godfather of anything. <laughs> God, I like, I'd love to like do something. With okay. Him. <laughs> you guys are on tour right now? Uh, sort of. We came up to the bay. We played two New York shows and we're playing a house show in Nashville. So nice. Uh, it's it's a tour. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely a tour. Really, that's what we're calling it. Yeah. Does the house show include a potluck? Any house show I've ever played included a potluck. Really? Yeah. I don't think so, man. But we're yeah. playing with this really awesome band called Heavy Cream. It's got like three really, really hot girls in it. And they play like awesome rock and roll. So, well, that's, that's a good name yeah. for a band with three hot girls yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. And um, anything else <laughs> coming up that we need to know about? Uh, new record. Record's coming out February 22nd. We're playing South by Southwest. I don't know shit past that. Alright, excellent. Cool. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.